Dream 4.0 tutorial and review. Is it better than Nano Banana? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison and a tutorial on Sea Dream. Sea Dream has been launched by ByteDance, which is the parent company behind TikTok, and their new AI image generator and image editor is truly something unique. They have provided hyper-realism as well as prompt-based editing. They have versatile styles and you can build knowledge-driven generation as well. So if you're looking to build posters, presentations, and more, you can now do it via Seed with the Seed Dream tool that has been created by ByteDance. So this is a really new tool and you will be able to access this tool through a couple of different channels. So if you head on over into replicate.com, you can sign on and then use ByteDance Seed Dream over here. However, this is going to cost you 0 0.03 dollars or three cents per output image. And this is licensed for commercial use. This is your first option in getting started. Then you also have this available on fal.ai. So again, this is available for commercial use and it's going to cost you around the same amount. So if you're looking to pay for this particular tool, you do get a couple of free dollars when you're signing up for fal.ai. So you can always opt for that as well. After that, you have Jimeng Xianyang. Now, this is a Chinese website, so you're going to have to turn on your English translations. And then from here, you can click on the image generation. And within your image generation, you have 4.0. And just like so, you can proceed with image creation over here. Now, your next option is going to be to use Flux AI. So this is an image that I've created using Seed Dream on Flux AI. And I'll show you guys how to do this on Flux AI. And if you're just looking to try out the Seed Dream AI image generator, then you can always experiment on Flux AI because they do give you a couple of free credits that you can always experiment with. So to get started, simply head on over into flux-ai.io and then click on free trial. Once you do that, you can log in with your email address or log in with Google. And if you don't have an account, click on create one now. Once you do that, you can click on sign up with Google, which I am going to be doing right now. And once I do that, I'm just going to be proceeding with the Google account that I want to use to be able to access Flux. Once I continue on, I will have 40 free credits you guys can see on the top right. Once I have received my free 40 credits, I'm going to go into Flux AI tools. Then you will see Seed Dream 4.0 Image AI. So you're going to click on this over here and then scroll down. And this is where where you can access the Sea Dream 4.0 image AI image generator. So on the left, you can upload images as your reference as well. You can also write your prompts, choose the ratio, and then you can choose your resolution. And you can choose if you want this to be a private generation, which is going to be costing you money. So let's put in a prompt and we're going to be using the exact same prompt on Nano Banana as well, so that you guys can see the differences between both of these platforms. Now, we also have prompt optimization, and I'm going to be using a very generic prompt that is going to be consistent. So I'm going to be using ChatGPT to write a prompt. Write a prompt to, to generate a skyline view of a New York-like city and a woman standing on a rooftop. And right now it is going to be generating the prompt. Now from here, I'm going to copy this just like so. And I'm going to go back into Seed Dream and paste it. So this is our original prompt, which is a cinematic skyline view of a vibrant New York-like city at twilight. Skyscrapers glowing with warm golden lights against a purple blue sky. A woman stands on a modern rooftop with, in the foreground, her silhouette softly illuminated by the city glow. She wears a flowing coat that catches okay she wears a flown coat that catches the breeze i'm gazing over the city and i'm going to remove this the atmosphere is dramatic urban inspiring with 
depth of field emphasizing both the detailed rooftop textures and the vast cityscape beyond so this is our prompt and i'm going to copy this exactly and then first we're going to be using our ratio we're going to go with a 16 by 9 ratio image you can change the image ratios as you prefer if you want landscape images or if you want portrait images that's up to you once i do that i'm just going to proceed and then click on generate and i'm going to wait for my image to be generated in the meanwhile, I'm going to go into Nano Banana, paste in the exact same prompt, and then click on return. Now, Nano Banana, I have noticed, is pretty quick as well. And you guys can see Seed Dream is also very quick. It has created my image, and this is a very beautiful image. It is really nice. I do think if I specified the type of style that I want to use, it might have been a little better. And this is the image that has been created by Nano Banana. So both are pretty much comparable. Both are pretty good. When it comes to the warm lighting element, I do think that Sea Dream did a better job, but the images that have been created by Nano Banana, the longer heels and, you know, the cityscape, it doesn't look like it's, um, it's a dawn or a dusk time. It just looks um, a bit unrealistic, but I do think that the nighttime illustration of this is pretty amazing, although the lighting on this uh, particular area is a little bit iffy so this is how you can get started with using the sea dream 4.0 image generator it's really simple and easy to use now i'll show you guys another example of what we have created using the sea dream 4.0 image generator so i'm just going to be logging on with my account over here and this was an image of a woman fighting and we're going to basically create the same image with Google's Nano Banana so that you guys can compare and see the different results that you're going to be getting. So over here, I'm just going to be signing on. And with both of these platforms, they're very popular in hyper-realism and creating this new style of content, changing camera angles, for those purposes, both of them do a really amazing job. And this is the image that we have created previously. So this was our image. I'll just go into image creation here. And this was my prompt, which was a very short prompt where I asked it to create a portrait of a woman fighting monsters. She has long black hair and is wearing shredded clothing. And this is the type of image it created. It's very fantasy-like. Now, if I go into Nano Banana, so you guys can compare both of the results that these platforms are going to give you. In general, I do think that Byte Dances, Seed Dream has a lot more coming. This is just the beginning of their AI image generator. You guys can see they even have batch input and prompt generation. So you can even build your entire brand story, brand packaging, aesthetic styles. You can build mood boards, all of that against one simple prompt like they have shown in these examples here. So you guys can see there are far less just restrictions when it comes to seed dream because as i put this prompt in nano banana of a woman fighting monsters it is not generating the image for me because google has a lot of censorship where it's not going to generate any image that promotes or perpetuates violence of some sort so you guys can see that there's a lot of filtration which is again another reason why everyone has been so excited to check out the other ai image generators such as seed dream that has been created by ByteDance. So it's definitely something to try out and it's not an AI platform you should be underestimating. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.